Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Not Fashion Hub, the best fashion channel in the world. So today we are going to learn how to stitch a suit breast pocket. And this um, single wealth pocket is the same for a waistcoat, a suit, and um, an Indian jacket as well. So if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe. Alright, so it's lo this this pocket is located seven inches, eight inches from the shoulder line, eight inches there, and from the center of the top, um, the pocket is located at two point five inches from the center line. 2.5 inches from the center line so if you measure from the center to this place we're having 2.5 inches the wideness of the pocket is 4 inches All right. so if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so this is the our pocket opening all right the mouth of the pocket this color gum here mark it to be four inches so we are going to gum it to this fabric we are using for our single width pocket Please, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so that you will be the first to be notified whenever I drop my videos. You will be the first to be notified. So, after coming this properly, we are going to trim off the excess allowance. Excess allowance by the side and um, under. I'm going to trim the excess allowance. So, the next thing we're going to do is to stitch by the side. Alright, we're not going to stitch on top of this gum, we're going to stitch by the side beside the gum. Meanwhile, there are several ways of fixing this pocket, okay? This is just one of the ways, alright? So, we're going to stitch and stop where that gum stops, yeah. Just the stitch length is just the size of that, of the collar gum there. My interfacing I'm using is collar gum. You see? The stitch is beside the gum, it's not on top of it. And it's not far from it, just beside it, at the edge of it. The next thing for us to do is to turn it in out. See that? Carefully turn it out. <clears throat> we'll do the same thing to this with the second side. Turn it out. So next thing for us to so do is to stitch the pocket to a waistcoat. So you see, I'm going to stitch it on that line we drew there, that mark we already made there, showing us where our pocket should be. I'm going to stitch below the edge of the collar gum there, and you see, I'm following this line under. That's where my pocket is lying. Right. 
now we are going to make a second stitch which will be the second side of the pocket um this is it this piece here we form the second side of a pocket all right so i'm going to stitch it to begin almost from where the other stitch began and then it will end almost at where um the first stitch ended but it's not going to be the same this second stitch is a bit shorter than the first one and the gap in between the two stitches is just half an inch very important i'm not going to stitch it beyond the first look at this mark here i'm not stitching beyond that mark very important take note please both sides next thing for us to do now is to is to cut the pocket so that we turn it out now this is the most important point all right on this pocket if you don't get it right at this point you have issues okay you either damage the dress you are making or the pocket will carry a nice shape so when you are cutting this right here that i'm doing um ensure that look i'm cutting close to the i hope you can see very well i'm cutting close to where i made i started stitching but not exactly i didn't touch the stitch okay i'll do that this side again i didn't touch the stitch i did not touch the stitch just watch what i'll do i'm so close to it but i won't touch the stitch you can see i didn't touch the stitch at all just almost where the stitch started then i i, I stopped because if you go beyond the stitch you made uh, of course either you increase the pocket to become wider or you have to look for another fabric and start all over again very important so please take note so now we have we have turn our pocket in and then we'll go to the table press it get it flat and then we'll come back and stitch it you can see it's reddish forming the pocket is already forming it's quite simple it's not difficult at all it's quite simple it's already forming so stitch it will turn behind and stitch it properly all right and iron it properly just watch what i'm doing and follow me and do it If you're here to subscribe please hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on i would really appreciate so that when i drop my videos you will be the first to be notified please subscribe <coughs> So the next thing for us to do is to go out to the machine and stitch the two edges of this pocket then we'll attach the second layer of the pocket to close it up just watch me closely we have finished teaching one side of the trouser look at the next so we'll do a top stitch here on both sides now this top stitch has to be very very clean all right and before then let's finish the inside work let's finish the pocket inside so trim off the excess allowance we have there
So the next thing for us to do now is to top stitch our pocket. We are done with stop stitching one side, we move to the second side. So we can see our pocket right here, our pocket is all set, you see it's quite simple. So if you enjoy watching this video, I would really appreciate it if you can hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so that whenever I drop my videos, you will be notified. 